Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back, well not welcome back, but welcome to a Q&A and also an update video now that both of the icebergs, the music one and the shocker website one is done. So this is just going to be a chill video just as a sort of break for me and obviously because I don't want things to get too repetitive. Also for the filler in this video I'm going to use some gameplay and let me know what you think of it in the comments, whether or not you just like the, the still images or if you like something going on in the background. Um, I'd like to know this for my future video, which is going to be coming up, which is going to be quite a long one, which I will mention later in the video. Okay, first question is, who would I say the best and the worst bands are on the music iceberg? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say any of the bands are bad or the worst bands mainly because I'm it was mainly noise based towards the end and I'm not really into noise music so I can't really judge it but I can definitely say what some of my favorites of there were I think probably uh, Slipknot probably my favorite artist on there um yeah because I'm into that kind of music so that was the only one which I recognized and listened to a lot but when I say I could name a few I literally mean like Slipknot and Korn they're like the I like them bands and it was quite nice to see some familiar ones on there. Okay, next question. What is my favourite music genre and what is my favourite iceberg? Music genre, um, I couldn't narrow it down to one. I like a lot of things, but um, a few of my favourites, definitely like post-hardcore, like 2000s Screamo, uh, love, love a lot of that. Uh, Midwest Emo, I quite like that as well. I also like a lot of uh, like post-punk and new wave from the 80s. Especially the the English ones, the British ones. And my favourite iceberg, um, what I've done, I would probably say the shock website because that was just fun to do. Uh, out of everything, I don't know, probably like a, a game one. I don't know, there's a lot of them. I couldn't really narrow it down to be honest. I'll name a few. So I, I really liked the, the Portal iceberg, uh, the Half-Life iceberg, um, Dark Souls iceberg. Basically any game I'm into, I like the iceberg, and also like TV shows, movies, things like that. But I do have quite a, a liking towards the, the disturbing ones, and like the more niche ones, such as like the YouTube content and things like that. I find them really interesting. Okay, next question. Will I continue to do icebergs? And the answer to that is yes, I will. I have two planned, which I will mention at the end of the video, as I said. And I also have a few other videos which aren't icebergs, but they are from an iceberg which I have covered. I'm just going into more detail on them. What is the most shocking slash disturbing thing that I have seen? Um, definitely within the past five years, uh, Morrissey without his shirt on. That, that, that shocked me a lot. But if we're talking as in the shock iceberg and things like that, I couldn't tell you if I'm being honest. They're all just like as bad as each other, if you know what I mean. It's like obviously some are less bad than others, but like once you get to a certain point, um, you don't see any as worse or you see, I see them as like equal, equally bad. What editing program do I use? I use Lightworks and it is very, it's not like complex and you can't exactly do anything entirely fancy with it, but it gets the job done for what I want to make and it is free, so that was a, a good bonus. Yeah, it's pretty simple to use and obviously, like I said, you can't like use fancy stuff, but um, for like a YouTube video like this, this is all I need basically. And it looks like this. Okay, next we have, do I have any plans of making videos on topics besides iceberg charts? And the answer to that is yes, I do. This channel is mainly for disturbing and like creepy content and things like that. It's just as of recently I've been doing icebergs. Obviously I will still be doing iceberg videos as I enjoy doing them, but I will be doing other things aside from that which will be mentioned at the end of this video. Okay. Next we have, I know it's kind of hard to determine, but how desensitized are you to gore slash shock content? Are there things that still mess with you just as badly as when you first saw them? Um, I would say that definitely, I wouldn't say I'm completely desensitized, but I would say more than, more than the average human is because of um, my childhood. And that had nothing to do with I was brought up bad, that was mainly just because um, my internet was unsupervised and that led me down a lot of things which 
Probably shouldn't have seen when I was like 14, but I did anyway. And this is sort of where my love for disturbing content started, and I'm very happy that it did. And the other answer is yes, there are things which I still think about, but I wouldn't necessarily say that they, they mess with me. I just think about it, especially with a lot of the ones which are hoaxes, um, because even though that they have been proven fake, I know that it was definitely based off something similar or stuff like that just exists outright somewhere. Which, yeah, that that makes me think sometimes, but I wouldn't necessarily say it like messes with me because I know that um, it's not going to do anything to stop it if I just think about it. And also things like this just like won't stop unless like the whole of the internet is supervised. It's kind of like in the real world, you know that there's like serial killers, but you don't let that affect you because you know that they just exist. It's kind of the same on the internet. You know that things on the internet exist, but it doesn't bother you because they they have to exist, you know, like someone has had to done it somewhere. I just I just think about things like that. Okay, next we have am I going to be doing more disturbing icebergs? And the answer to that is yes, I am going to be doing that. And here is where I'm going to say which ones I'm going to be doing. Okay, the two icebergs I have planned are ways that the world is going to end and mystical sort of like myth creatures, sort of like Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, things like that. But before I start making these, I want to know in the comments below whether or not you want the normal sort of like 10, 15 minute episodes where I go over one tier. Uh, whether or not you want me to go over like three tiers and split it up into about three parts or whether you just want like a full hour long video on the whole thing. I think with these two I'm going to do sort of um, a mixture of both just to see what gets received the best and things like that to find out. But still leave your opinions in the comments below. Okay, what videos am I planning on making in the future? And this is where I tell you about one of my projects which I'm going to be working on soon. And it is going to be on disturbing web games, precisely Lamondo and Goodbye to the Dolphin Dream. I believe it's called Dolphin Dream. Uh, it's something along with that. It's because the original title's in Japanese, where so it was translated over. But yeah, I'm going to do a video on those two in a lot of depth. And I've also been on the websites, like recorded them and like gone through it and all that. I'm going to give my opinions, things like that, because they were really interesting, to be honest. And they didn't deserve to have like a two minute slot in one of the iceberg videos. So yeah, uh, look out for that, which will be coming very soon. And now I guess I have to talk about the, the other big thing which was mentioned in Monday's video, which is I'm going to try and watch uh, most of the movies on the disturbing movies iceberg all the way through. Obviously I am probably just going to skip the last tier, mainly because a lot of them are like uh, like myths or they're literally just like mixtapes of like disturbing videos, things like that, so they're not really movies. And I plan on giving like a review and in a way trying to find something good about it, if that makes sense. Like bring justice to this video and something like that. I thought that that would be like a fun idea. But yeah, when I made the video, I had like 200 subs and I was like, oh, if I get to like 100 and something likes, then I'll do it. And yeah, I'm now at like 600. So uh, I had to bump the like go up now to 200, which... I should have bumped it up more, but I didn't, and hold up, how many likes is it on now? Let me just check. <sighs> it's on 186, so um, yeah, that's, it's definitely going to happen. But yeah, for this video, I'm planning on doing it in two or three parts. I'm going to do the first part, which is on the sort of um, the well-known ones and things, so like tier 4, down to tier 4. Um, ones that like I've already seen or heard of and things like that, ones which can still be considered movies. And then the second part is literally just going to be like straight in the deep end on like the some of the bad ones and then me giving my opinion on them. The first part um, I don't think should take too long as some of the films I'm just not going to watch as I've already seen them like a few times such as like uh, Saw or House of a Thousand Corpses, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like, ones like that I've already seen, like, multiple times. But ones which I've only seen, uh, like, once, like, uh, Tetsui the Iron Man, um, I'm probably gonna rewatch and things like that. But yeah, um, look out for that video, because, um, a lot of effort and a lot of my sanity is going towards that, so I hope you guys enjoy it. 
but that is going to be it for this little Q&A and update video. As I said, I'm probably going to do uh, longer uploads now. So uploads probably won't be twice a week. They'll probably be like once or one long one every two weeks, things like that. Just in case you uh, think I died. No, I haven't died. I'm just working on some longer videos. But thank you for all the support. Um, 600 subscribers. Damn, that, that's a lot. And also um, just like a few thousand views on every video. It's just like insane to see. And thanks for all like the, the nice comments and everything. Things like that. Uh, it, it means a lot. But yeah, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Stay spooky.